What a great quote from you, Joe Yost. Uh, Joe is uh, the director of special music uh, for special people, and we're also joined by Lisa Dunn, who is their therapeutic and recreational instructor with the Chicago Park District. And Joe, I didn't even have a chance to ask you about your own professional music career. That's what makes you naturally the, the perfect guy mm -hmm. for this. I had just been playing in rock bands since I was young, maybe like 15. I was performing in clubs where I probably shouldn't have been, but I had some opportunities young in life. But I mean, as of recently, I'm performing with a band called The Twigs and another band called The Voodoo Kings, and uh, we perform on you know national levels. What instrument do you play? Uh, bass guitar mainly, and I sing, and I pop around. But now you've decided really to take this your involvement with special music for special people a step further. I'm hoping, yeah. I mean, I've been Tell doing us what you're doing. You're going, you're going for your master's? Yes, I'm pursuing my master's at uh, the Center for New Learning at DePaul. And my thesis is the special music program. And I'm hoping to get a degree in community leadership with the special music programming being, you know, the whole emphasis of why I'm going to school. And um, I'm hoping that we can spread this program further. I was going to say, I mean, where, where do you two want to see this program go? I mean, right now you're with the Chicago Park District. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lisa? You, I, you're I convinced really, that it's, it's very beneficial. It's, you know, once people see it and they get involved with it, they stay. They, they don't leave. So if more people got involved and, and knew what it was like to work with these people, you know, myself, I've been with them for five years, and uh, my assistant, Michelle Zolke, who works with me, when you go to work each day and you can be in a bad mood and you go there and they just just seeing them it brightens your whole day up you know and you learn a lot from them you know now tell me about the cd how did recording the cd come about how did you get wow. that chance unbelievable what happened uh, you know after six or seven years of writing songs i always had dreamed that you know one day we're going to make a cd so i started doing these benefit shows at the cubby beer and this year it'll be at martyrs on the uh, 6th of of uh, june um, and that raised me some funds to help start recording and press, actually to press the CD, which we got a small grant from the park district to build a small recording facility at the park. And that's where we do most of our work. And it took a long time to get these songs together, but we have a really, it's, it's a great record. It falls in the category of children's music. And Dave Kruger drew the art, one of our special artists and special musicians. They've all helped write the songs. They've all sung on the songs. And we get a lot of different professional musicians who come up, along and donate performances and perform with them to make it a really, really cool thing. And I'm hoping that um, in Christmas time, I'm hoping to put out another record because we've got a whole yeah, slew of great songs. Yeah, you guys need to put out a songs. Christmas album. But the songs that you got on this CD, they're all about food. A lot of them. Are about food. <laughs> it's called What's for Lunch. What? It's called What's for Lunch. Yeah, and the reason being is because as we were uh, as we were writing these songs, it just the prevailing theme seemed to be food. And whenever Joe comes up with an idea, food is <laughs> mentioned in that. Yeah, there's idea. always like donuts. Is Joe always and cookies. hungry. Is that what it is? That's yeah. Not, well, <laughs> no. It's actually no, not I think Joe. It's, those it's the guys kids. Just love the food. You know? Oh yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, like Turkey Time is one of our songs, and the ice cream song, and the donut song, and we go through everything from hot dogs to hamburgers. And let's face it, everyone has a vice in life, and, and ours is why not good chow. Have food, right? <laughs> That's right. How how did the how did the people respond um, when you how did the group respond when you started taking them around for these special performances oh. like Cubby Bear? I mean, that's a lot of pressure, you know. They as have an egos now. They have very big <laughs> egos. Oh, they're stars, Dad. Oh, oh, we are all stars. They have very that's, big egos. That's our thing. I, I well, let's look at it. I look at it from another so perspective. We like doing too. the autograph thing, and oh, we're in the oh, oh yeah. Not shy about being on stage whatsoever. There, but per, from the perspective of what's really happening here, I mean, this program a lot of times just isn't about the participants who are in my program or on the CD or whatever. It's really about the whole community in general and using music as a way to mainstream people with disabilities and use it to break the ice and say, hey, anybody who's in that room, anybody who sees a performance, anybody who checks out our record, anybody who gets involved with this program is starting to feel something from it. And that's, that's another thing. There's so many facets to this program where how the music is helping, how it's a conduit to use this as a communication device to work us and show to people that, hey, we, maybe we have a disability, but we have an ability here, and we all have souls, and we have something to share. And for people or institutions or bureaucracies not to help to fund these things or to give more, more funding to the arts, especially music and art, which is one of our hugest exports, 
to me, it just doesn't make sense in our society. Why would so much money be going into defense or so much money into other things where music is, is I mean, uh, Michael Jackson, how much money, how many taxes does he raise? Mm -hmm. So it just seems to me that I would hope to see this spread and, and you have to realize that if you put time and money and effort into any population with education, it's gonna really, really, really come out to something. Where does the money from the, the CD, the sales of the CD? It goes right into the Parkway Fund, which is a 501c fund, which funnels completely directly back into our program. It's about $10 for the CD. And then that money is used to make the next CD or buy our bus to get us to the taste of the Chicago performance. Or, I mean, basically, just to keep things running. And um, it's, it is great because we are getting some success with the sale now. Um, we're just about out of time, but before we go to break, Lisa, I wanted to ask you, because you work with this group day in and day out, what's the most important misconception that you'd like to see broken? with the general population about people with Down syndrome? That um, they're not educated or, or can't be educated. These guys are very smart, mm -hmm. you know, and they're very loving, very emotional people, and you get very attached to them. And guess what? We're going to meet two of the members mm -hmm. of your group right. when we come back on People to People. But before we take a break, if you want more information on what's going on here on this project, we'll have it for you on the screen. Stay with us. Welcome back to Feet for the People. You are listening to the beautiful sounds of special music by special people. That was great, you guys. Let me introduce you to our, our new guests. We have Kathy Merkel and David Kruger, who are both members of the group. Yep. You were on. You were on. Okay. Joe, they're tremendous. Great really, ours. really good. Sure, you can say whatever, say whatever you like. Okay. How, how do you guys like being in the group? I love it. Why, Dave? Why do you love it so I, much? I love, I love everything. Joe is the best guy in the band. <laughs> <laughs> but I come on. the, the only thing I like about him is his honesty. Oh. He got good honesty. Right. He, he, he takes care of us all the time. We go in a hotel. We go on field trips.